Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this uh, quarter-inch barb. Now, this kind of goes in general for all general hose barbs, so I decided this was going to be a, uh, a neat experiment maybe to go about and doing. And I went ahead and I tried printing this already once, but I found something rather interesting. And the piece is, is I've, I've downloaded it from Thingiverse, and I have it here loaded into Tinkercad. And if you look, <laughs> it's solid um, because I printed it out and uh, it was plugged. So um, that's that's a little bit of a problem. So what I've done is I, you know, so kind of a little bit of a forewarning. If you're going to print one of these, probably take a look before you go through the effort of printing it. So what I've done is I pull it into Tinkercad, and what I'm going to do is is hollow it out. Um, by you know u utilizing a hole so I've created a hole the rough size of this and I don't think this is quite centered even though it sort of told me it was centered it lied to me um, why is this not centering this but I had this centered once before ah uh, there we go okay so we have both of our dimensions centered you see I've got it passing through so what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and group this together uh, whoops I click the group button and then now I have this and as you can see we can see through to the bed so that's a good thing uh, we now have a hole in the center of it the other thing that I want to do is I want to try uh, experimenting with printing it in, in different orientations and I can kind of guess uh, how it's going to work, but uh, for grins and giggles, I do want to experiment a little bit with it. So I'm going to create two of them, and then what I'm going to do is now lay one of them on its side. And if I get to 90 here, and then I say drop it right down to the bed, and we have this one on the bed. Now I'm just going to kind of move this so I'm in line with the other one a little bit. And I just want to look at this in a second. Um, okay, so I've got those aligned. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this out for 3D printing, uh, download for 3D printing. I'm going to do it as an STL. I'm going to actually save uh, both of these. And um, find my files whoops modern price select mini what, what I typically do is I have um, uh, STL files under the names of various printers on my network share so I just simply save out all the STLs there and then I have a record of them plus I know where to get them for each one of my specific printers so maybe a little bit of a side tip there and then um, I'm gonna say remixed uh, barb, whoops, not barb, barb, um, B1. Now I'm going to save that off. And now we're done here. Now what I'm going to do is open up uh, Cura. Now, as I mentioned, I've already um, tried this, and since they were plugged, it failed. So what I'm going to do is come back around and try this again. Uh, this time, so I'm going to clear the platform. I'm going to load the model and then remixed barb is giving me my open version and here we go we have those uh, on there so I'm going to print these with uh, eighth inch thick, thick shells uh, I'm gonna go 50 percent infill because I want these to be rather strong um, I'm gonna kick up the temperature because the PLA I'm running is, is going a little bit colder so I'm gonna actually go to 10 um, and bed temperature 60. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize supports for touching build plate only. Um, and the reason for that is is the because of the collar on the one that lays flat um, it, it lifts the barbs up off the bed so that they would definitely sag and it wouldn't print. So you're going to have to use some supports here. And this overlapping collar here on this one too uh, will definitely be a problem printing. I don't know, excuse me, how these barbs up here are going to print. 
in this on the vertical. And that's what I want to see is, is how each one of these print in comparison to one another. And again, you can kind of see that the insides are, are open. There seems to be a, still a little bit of a lip. Uh, but I wanted to leave the integrity of this mouth the way it is uh, because I've done this before and it's thinned these out too much and they kind of snap off easier. So this is where I want to go. So all the rest is pretty straightforward. And so what I'm going to do is simply save out the G code to the card. And so I'll tell you what, let's jump over, take a time lapse. I'm going to print these uh, with standard PLA over on the mono price mini select. And so let's hop over there, take a look. And then when we're done, we'll come back to the bench and take a look at the final product and see how it all works. Okay, welcome back. So as you saw in the time lapse, the vertical version of this did not print. Now I actually tried this a couple times and uh, it, it wouldn't print now. I, I'm sure if I did it with a brim, it it probably would have printed. However, I, I didn't want to do that for a specific reason. So um, I found that very interesting and in an upcoming video, you'll probably see why I did that. Uh, but the the um, horizontal one did print pretty good. Now, one of the things I forgot to mention as I kicked off this, this last section is hopefully you've watched through this. And before you send me any type of crazy emails, because I get this all the time, people go, duh, what do you expect? Um, the idea is, when I do some of this stuff, is to kind of show it, uh, you know, as general educational material. Here's what happens. You know, like when I did the laser piece in the coin, I knew that was going to happen. But the thing is, is I had people asking, wanting to see it. And the other thing is, is if we never try something, how do we know? Just because we believe it to be true. Um, you know, again, I've tried things and they've come out totally differently than what I expected. So, you know, that's the idea behind experimentation be so before you write duh or whatever else below kind of keep that in mind that's the reason i'm doing this you know so anyways um I, i'm back to this and again i'll put a little bit of an overlay i plugged I, i've already plugged one of these into a hose and i'm using it for the laser cutter um i wouldn't put this under high pressure the laser uses about three to six psi and works perfect so uh, you know very happy with this I, although i was just rather surprised that this was plugged in the center i mean how good is that right so anyways um you know hopefully you found this interesting and if you need some small uh, air adapters now in, in full disclosure i don't know if i would use this on an aquarium or uh for for potable water or i.e drinking water or anything like that uh pla is rather innocuous you know i definitely wouldn't use abs um you know, I understand that there's some sort of like pet cheese out there that, that are, uh, you know, FDA approved. But my, my piece is, is I wouldn't use this for anything uh, other than machine operations, if you would. Uh, you know, unless it was an FDA approved plastic. And I know that there's some nylons and stuff out there. In, in which, actually, I have that on my list is to start experimenting with some nylons. But that, that'll come into the future. I do have some, especially the, the Taubman Bridge Nylon. So I want to give that a try. Anyways, uh, again, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this coming. And uh, hit me up below if you have any questions. So cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.